you were brought into this world and you first learned to walk, you fell down a few times, you cried, mummy helped you up, but eventually you learned how to stand on your own two feet. Look, men chase women. It's just the way it is. They approach women, they fail, they approach, they fail, eventually they meet somebody. So just because a woman's been let down by certain men that she's left in, she's met in her life, the ones that she chose to be with, don't forget, right? She chose to be with them. That doesn't mean that all men are bad or all men are a certain type of way. That's the type of man that she met. But the good men are out there. But it's up to her to, to, to distinguish, to notice that, to distinguish between a good man and a bad man when she meets him. You know, you, we all get feelings when we meet people. I've always said this. It's, it's better to meet a woman who holds back before anything happens. You get to know each other. Just like the, the old days when you used to court. It's not like you just meet and then you jump into bed together. No. you need to, Men respect women who hold back. Men respect women who are interested in them, but wait for the right time. So just because you're let down by one person doesn't mean that all men are going to be tarnished with the same brush. You need to be out there. Don't forget. You need to be out there meeting. I'm like I said, you know, uh, it's a catch twenty two now because fear has been put instilled into men where it's wrong to approach women. But this is the best way for us to meet in the library on the bus. This is natural. Rather than oh, I'm not in the mood to date now. Um, I'll wait to get home and then I'll get onto my phone or you know. When it happens, it happens. You know, it happens. But the, the, the best way is naturally out there in the open. All right, social media, there's some happy stories, there's some success stories. But the best way is the way God made it on planet Earth. You're supposed to meet people face to face. I might add, don't forget, right, that it's the woman's job to make herself available to the man that she, she wants or the man that she's attracted to. If you're going out there with a frown or like... um. Uh, uh, you've just drank some vinegar. You're really going. No, no man's gonna. Become is really going. <laughs> no man's gonna approach you if you fr- if you got your face all twisted up like you just drank a whole bottle of vinegar. No man's gonna. So you know a lot of... Finish off what you're saying and also end with something positive for the lady. Something positive for the lady. Yeah, I mean, I mean, listen. It, I mean, this is intelligence itself. I mean. Obviously, not all black women women are unresponsive. There's going to be some nice ones out there, absolutely. but they're very few. Do you know oh, what I mean? See, I said I'm absolutely. Sure I'm, I'm, and then you just said that they're yeah. very few. Continue. There, there's there's yeah. a few. Like I said, there's a, there, you know, the society is molded where uh, women are so easily influenced that they've all taken on this agenda. That's the sad thing about it. You know, they've all bought into this thing. And that, this this agenda is not living for you. You're living for yourself. So <laughs> you're taking this on your shoulders. And is it making you happy? You know, uh, playing a role that is not you. Does that make you happy? You know, in order for you to find the right mate, the right black man, you have to make yourself available to the man that you're attracted to. You can't be frowning because that will put him off. You've got to make yourself approachable where the person can approach you and then you know you, you you carry on from there it can't be you know uh, you're walking around like you've got you've just drank vinegar and no man's approaching you what, what do you expect listen things that men are bringing to the table listen things that men would like from women